Hi, welcome to Serious Talk with your friend Dokita Oriafefe, broadcasting live from Ondo City, Nigeria. Do you know that your body talks? From your head to your toes, your body's parts are always talking with you. If you have a headache, that's your brain talking. Eye ache, those are your eyes talking to you. If you have blocked nose, your nose is talking to you. Sore throat, your throat is talking to you. So joint pains, body ache and the rest. That's your body talking. Before you have that sudden collapse and faint while preaching or at a rally or you're in the office at a meeting and so on, your body must have been talking to you. Most times when people faint or they collapse or even die, days before then, their bodies must have been talking to them. I want to beg you, please, anytime your body is talking, you know, please just stop. Stop for two, three minutes and listen. And if your body is saying go and rest, just go and rest. Don't struggle with your body. If your body is calling for sleep, I tell people, sleep. After all, that's what is called a nap. Take a nap. Three, five minutes and you'll be fine. Anytime you're confused at work and you can't remember what, you know, you were doing. <laughs> or you're struggling with numbers, with figures, pack it aside. And please, just place your head on your table and rest. If you're at a conference and you can't follow what they are discussing, tune off. Just tune off and sleep. The few minutes that you have taken to sleep will not kill anybody. Even if you're a doctor, you know, you have doctors dying suddenly, professors dying suddenly. It's because of work overload. If only we can all learn to listen to our bodies, we might actually live longer than we live.